Hey guys, so today we are going to do what I think is a very important video for any theater goer. Today we are going to talk about stage door etiquette. Something I think everybody should know. So, I hope this video of helpful tips and tricks will help you get your autograph or your picture with your favorite Broadway star. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is what you need to bring to the stage door. What you bring to the stage door is just as important as what you get while you're at the stage door. So, the first thing and most important thing you need to bring is a Sharpie or some sort of writing utensil. My personal preference is a black or a silver Sharpie because it comes up on a colored or a black and white playbill. And yes, they do smear a little bit, but as long as you don't touch them or rub the playbills together too soon after they've been signed, you're usually fine. Pens can work too, but sometimes in the colder months when you stage door, they don't work as well. So they're not always as reliable and you don't get the cool big signatures that you can get with a Sharpie. But number two, the most really even more important than a Sharpie that you need to have at a stage door is something to sign. So this is a signed playbill I have from the cast of Tuck Everlasting. It doesn't have to be a playbill. You can have a poster that you got at the show. You can have the little booklet that came on one of their albums. You can have a t-shirt even. Usually actors will sign just about anything. I have also heard of people getting their faces signed. So really anything is possible. And the third most important thing you need to have is a phone for pictures or a camera for pictures. If you want a picture with your favorite Broadway star, you're going to need something to take it with. So it's important to have some sort of photo taking device. Phones are really good for selfies or if you want really nice pictures, you can use a camera like I am using right now to record my video. That is usually my main stage door camera. Alright, so now we are going to talk about the best things to do at a stage door. So, you always want to get a spot by the barricade. Usually at stage doors, I've only been to one where they didn't have fencing. So, usually at stage doors, they will put out metal barricades to separate the actors from the audience members at the stage door. So you want to get as close to that barricade as possible. Basically, you want to be hugging that barricade because the closer you are to the barricade, the more likely you are to have your items signed. If you are three people deep, then most likely they're not going to be able to get to you, which stinks, but that's usually how it works. So in order to get to the barricade, there are many options. You can either go to the stage door on a different day. Take Hamilton, for example. Hamilton is one of the most popular shows on Broadway right now. So usually, if you want to stage door that show, you're going to have to go on a different day. Say you saw the show on Friday night and then wanted to stage door Saturday night. That could work if you get to the stage door, say, a half hour before curtain, uh, curtain falls then you will probably be able to be one of the first in line at that stage door, up against that barricade, holding your spot, ready to meet everyone. Whereas everyone else who is still in the show has to wait until the show ends, make their way outside, and then get to the stage door and fight between each other of who goes where. Whereas you already have your spot. So, unpopular shows versus popular shows for stage door. Unpopular shows tend to have smaller stage doors, so if you want to meet someone in that smaller show, really any time is a good time to see them. Like when I went to Tuck Everlasting, I went during the previews and it wasn't that big of a show. So not many people were at the stage door, so it was nice to be able to have a conversation with some of the actors. It was very wonderful to be able to take pictures with all of them. And they didn't feel rushed to get through like 50 people at the end of the line. Well, unpopular shows, although you may not want to see them, if somebody is in them you really want to meet, then go ahead and stage door that show. It probably won't be super busy. 
but popular shows, as stated before, you may want to go on a day you didn't see the show, so you are guaranteed a front spot in that, at that barricade. Please understand if they do not come out the stage door or they do not want to sign or take pictures if they do come out the door. Each actor has their own agenda. They are people too. Just because you see them on that stage does not make them any different from you or me. Another thing to do while you're at the stage door. Understand if an actor does not want to come out the stage door and sign or take pictures that night. Every actor has their own agenda. They may have guests inside. They may have plans at home that they have to get to. Or simply, they may be sick and very tired and don't want to go through parts of people to get home. So always go with no to little expectations. That way, if you expect no one to walk out that stage door and one person does, you'll be happy that that one person did. So now we are going to move on to what not to do at the stage door. The number one rule for me is do not be that weirdo. I think we can all say there are some crazy Broadway fans out in the world who have done some strange things or asked some actors some strange things at the stage door. Now, actors tend to remember those weird moments and probably will recognize the face of the person who said them. My philosophy is because I want to be a professional actor, I want to act professional when I am near someone I may be working with in the future. I don't want to be that awkward person and then have them remember me and feel uncomfortable around me in a work environment. So number one rule, do not be that weirdo. Also, do not take up their time. If there are 50 other people down that line and you are trying to have a 20 minute conversation with an actor, they probably aren't going to be very happy because they, you are holding them up from going home. So save the conversations for Twitter, Facebook, or even a fan letter. Another very good rule for stage door, do not be intoxicated. It is just awkward for everyone around you and the actor as well. When I went to the Tuck Everlasting stage door, there were a group of men about my age who were heavily intoxicated out of the stage door. And when little Sarah Charles Lewis, the girl who played Winnie, came out, you could tell she was uncomfortable when she was approached by these three guys. Like they were asking her to sign stuff and take pictures with them and they were drunkenly singing songs from the show and you could tell she was very uncomfortable and they had actually like burst in when I was speaking to her and she was signing my playbill and she actually looked over at me and I remember just mouthing like I'm not with them like I don't know these people and I felt very bad for her because you could tell it was an awkward situation so save yourself the embarrassment and save the act or the awkwardness. Do not be intoxicated at the stage door. And another very important thing, do not wait around after security says everyone is gone. All actors deserve their own time. If you see an actor walking down the street but they haven't come through the stage door, do not approach them. And do not ask for an autograph or a picture outside of the stage door after their show. They are tired, they want to go home, there was a reason that they didn't sign that night. So please give them their peace. Alright, that's about it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Comment down below some of your stage door tips and maybe if I get enough, I'll make another video. Links down below to my Instagram and Snapchat, please follow me on those. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe down below. Feel free to share this video with other Broadway community members, and I hope to see you next week for another great video. Bye guys!